Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you the latest tripod from Surrey. Uh, I did previously review another one of their tripods and this one has some similarities and some differences. The biggest difference is that this one is a lot lighter, which makes it easier to travel with. Uh, the key feature of this tripod is its single step height adjustment, which basically just means if you're especially working by yourself, it makes it that much easier and faster to set up the tripod. Now, actually, right now, until September 5th, uh, Siri is offering a really big discount. So if you want more info about that, make sure you stay till the end of the video. Now I'm just going to quickly show you what the one step height adjustment uh, is all about. So basically, you have these levers here. And when you loosen up these levers, it basically releases the height of each of these legs. So now, as you can see, I can easily lower the tripod. And I can at the same time, you know, go to whatever height I want, also whatever angle I want. Once I find the right position, I just quickly lock this in. That's it. The tripod legs are actually made out of carbon fiber, and that's the main reason why this tripod is so light, yet able to take such a heavy payload. Now, the max capacity for this tripod, uh, that, or the max payload that it can take, is 16 kilograms or 35 pounds. To set up the tripod, it's very straightforward. Uh, you can open up the little clips here on the bottom, uh, so you can open up the spreader. Now the tripod actually comes with a floor spreader. It does not come with a center spreader. That's something that's extra, an extra accessory. Um, but for most uses, the floor spreader is going to be good. Now definitely when you're on really uneven surfaces, that's when you want to get uh, basically either a center spreader or you could just take off the spreader completely and you actually have spikes on the bottom of the legs. And these will work great if you're on a surface, for example, like sand, dirt or, or lawn, where those spikes can really kind of embed themselves. The tripod, as you notice, comes with this handle. Uh, it's removable, by the way. It does actually come with an Allen key that's magnetically held in place. So you can uh, attach or detach this handle. This handle, I find, is very handy, <laughs> pun intended. Uh, it's, like I said, it just makes it easier. You can carry easily the whole tripod with it, uh, as if you're walking around or changing locations. Or, like you saw me, adjusting the height of the tripod. It's just an easy point, basically, to grab onto. But it's so sturdy that it can even take uh, the weight of the tripod itself and uh, like a normal sized uh, camera rig. The head is attached to the tripod using a 75 millimeter half ball head. And just like with any professional tripod, you can obviously loosen it and you can adjust the angle of it. Uh, now the one nice feature I like is that uh, obviously you can loosen and tighten it with this knob. But if you want to take out the head, let's say exchange it for something else or just completely take it out, instead of having to unthread this all the way, uh, you actually have a quick release that you press the button and this will just come out. And this allows you an easy and fast way again of exchanging or taking off the head. The same thing when you're putting it back in. You just basically press it all the way up till you hear that click and then it takes literally like a turn and a half and it's already locked. Also, you'll notice here on the side you have a battery compartment and that's because the bubble head is actually illuminated. Now, just to quickly kind of go over some of the features here on the head. So you have your lever up here for uh, locking the, the pen. Uh, this one is for locking and unlocking the tilt of the tripod. Uh, you also have these here adjustments for the dampening. So at zero, as you can see, it's very freely it turns around and you can go from zero to one, two, and three is the max setting of the dampening and really does add a lot of nice and smooth resistance to both the, the tilt and the pan of the tripod. You'll also notice here on the back, you have a counterweight adjustment. So that's definitely a nice feature to have. In case you didn't know what that does, it's basically make sure so that it, it's gonna return uh, your camera or your tilt position to its neutral position. So let's say if I put it in setting zero, as you notice if I let go of this right now, it just falls down. This, you know, happens, hopefully it hasn't happened to you, but it very often happens on film sets where you have a camera all built up, especially if it's like front heavy rig and it's not properly balanced on the tripod. And let's say your camera assistant forgets about it and lets go of the handle and the whole thing just goes forward, smashing and damaging the lens or the matte box. Well, in this case, that's where having a counterbalance system is really good because even if I set it, let's say, to setting number two, without any weight on it, you'll notice how quickly it springs back to its neutral position. The same thing if, let's say, you were, you were to let go of it and the whole rig starts tilting forward, it will only go so much before this thing springs back and again, puts it back to its neutral position. Now, the max weight that this is rated for, the, the counterbalance system itself, is 10 kilograms, which is around 22 pounds. 
So that's when you would want to go to setting number six. And right now, without any weight on it, it's actually quite a bit of force I got to put into this. And as you'll notice, it kind of springs back. And so again, that's an, another one of those pro features that it's nice to have. And it's, it's really great the fact that Siri uh, kind of included all of these features in this one tripod. When it comes to the base plate, as you can see, you have the locking lever here on the side and it's very well marked. So you can actually always remember your position in case you're, again, you have a very front or back heavy camera rig and you want to offset this. Um, when you do lock it, you see it stays in place, but even when you do unlock it, and let's say by accident, you leave it like this, you do have a locking me mechanism uh, there on the, on the top of the head. So we'll stop this and basically making sure that the camera rig doesn't just slide off by accident. Now, if you want to completely remove this, you can do so by pressing this lever and that releases the base plate. And the same thing when you're putting it back in with let's say, your camera rig, you can put it on an angle and that just snaps into place. And then to completely lock it, you're going to do this. The handle obviously allows you to adjust the length of it and the angle. So you can put it to whatever position is more comfortable for you. You can also flip uh, the handle and you can put it on the other side of here of the head. You also have two quarter 20 threads on the front of the head on the left and the right side. So you can use that to attach a magic arm with, uh, let's say, a monitor or something like that. So what I'm trying to get right now is a sunset shot, although now clouds moved in, so I don't know if we'll actually see the sun. But either way, I have a 300 millimeter uh, zoom lens on there, zoomed in all the way with a 1.4x extender. So that magnifies it even further. And I'm shooting on the really lovely camera, the Z-Cam is the latest version of it. But the Z-Cam does not have any in-body basically image stabilization. As you can see, the, the camera is very front heavy, obviously, because of that lens. I moved it back as far as I could. I set the dampening right now all the way down to zero. And just to kind of show you, illustrate how the counterbalance way, uh, works with a really heavy camera setup. This is actually 13 and a half pounds, this whole setup. So it's kind of, it's actually slightly overweight for the counterweight system, but this is how it looks. I'm going to let go of it. And as you can see, it saves the camera. <laughs> Uh, now, I am going to put the dampening all the way up because that just makes it more steady. And uh, these are the kind of shots I'm getting. Now the max height that this tripod can reach is uh, 1,650 millimeters. Its minimal height with the spreaders all the way open is 485 millimeters. And its retracted height when it's ready to be stowed away in its travel case, it's 760 millimeters. So that's it for this video. I gotta wrap it up because looks like we got another beautiful Florida hurricane coming our way. Uh, but like I said before, if you guys want to get a discount, which is 15% off the retail price of $4.99, uh, then until September 5th, you can get that. As always, for all the details, just head on over to my website at tomantosfilms.com uh, or follow the links in the description of this video. That's it for this one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Make sure you stay till the end of the video, man. Okay. I'll just lock it. And that's it. No. Oh. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> and is able to uh, basically pull this thing down. And now it's not working. Oh, there, okay. <laughs> so, like I said, just follow the links of the, uh, down the description on my... Uh, blah, blah, blah.